G'day all, welcome to this look at the five most common nocturnal bird species of South Australia. All birds are prey in some regards, feeding on insects, rodents, small reptiles, frogs, plus many other small creatures. Starting with a bird that is quickly becoming one of my favourite nocturnal birds, the tawny frogmouth, and finishing with the ever elusive spotted nightjar. So I hope you enjoy this look at the five most common nocturnal bird species of South Australia. Starting this look into the five most common nocturnal birds of South Australia, is a bird that is quickly becoming my favourite bird of the night, the tawny frogmouth. Scientific name Podgardus dragoides. These nocturnal birds can be seen in a variety of habitats and are not afraid to come into urban environments. They can often be found hanging around a tree-lined park or even sometimes in the backyard. With their large yellow eyes and large beak, which is where it gets its name from, the tawny frogmouth will hunt both in the air and on the ground, feeding on a variety of small creatures, such as insects, rodents, small reptiles and frogs. With their mottled plumage, they are camouflage experts, with the ability to thin down their body shape when under threat in an effort to look like a branch. Tawny frogmouths are not related to ours, but are closely related to nightjars, like the other four bird species in this list, tawny frogmouths are sedentary, so are very inactive outside of feeding. The hunting for food mainly takes place after dusk and before dawn. A territorial bird, tawny frogmouths roost on the branches of trees during the day. Breeding usually takes place between August to December, with normally two to three eggs laid. Nocturnal bird 2 is the Eastern Barn Owl. Scientific name Tito Delicatula, the Barn Owl belongs to the Titonidae family of owls, which contain mast owls. As you can see by the Barn Owl, it has a very distinctive heart-shaped facial disc. The evolution of this facial disc is to capture and concentrate sound so the bird can calculate the exact distance and direction of its prey. The barn owl will be the one out of the five that will be easily found. Not just because it's a very common species, but also its white body which stands out against a black background as it sits on a fence post or the outreaching branch of a mallee tree. The barn owl is the most widespread of any owl species, with subspecies found on all continents apart from Antarctica. With no set breeding pattern, the eastern barn owl is an opportunistic breeder, laying around two to six eggs. Nesting usually takes place deep in the hollows of trees, however can also take place in caves and old buildings. Barn owls are a sit and pounce predator, however will take prey in the air, feeding on such things as small mammals, small reptiles and insects. The common mouse is also a favourite of the barn owl. Nocturnal bird 3, and the second owl on the list is the Boo Book Owl. Scientific name Nanox Boo Book. The Boo Book Owl belongs to the family of Strigidae owls, which contain the hawk-like owls. Unlike the previous barn owl family of Titonidae, the Strigidae family of owls have a distinguishing characteristic of a goggle-like appearance around their eyes, as seen here on these Boo Book Owls. This owl can be a little bit more difficult to find, given its preferred habitat of woodland areas and its dark brown speckled plumage. Like the tawny frogmouths, they can venture into urban areas at night, where their distinctive call can often be heard. The booble cow can have a varied range in colour and patterns, which can depend on their age and location. They can take prey in mid-air, however are more of a perch and pounce hunter. Feeding on such things as small mammals, birds, moths, spiders and other insects. A common bird found in all other mainland Australian states, which breeds in August to January, laying around two to three eggs. The Boo Book Owl nests in hollows of trees. Nocturnal Bird 4 is not only the smallest of the five, 
but also the smallest nocturnal bird found in Australia. The Australian Owl at Nightjar, scientific name Agothelis cristatus. The Australian Owl at Nightjar is the only member of the Agothelidae family. Not only the smallest, but also possibly the cutest of the five, with its large eyes and small beak. The beak may be small, but it can open extraordinarily wide and is surrounded by a number of whiskers. While the eyes of other nocturnal birds tend to give off a red reflection when exposed to torchlight or spotlight, the Australian outlet night jars won't, as their eyes are non-reflective to light. The Australian owl at night jar spends the daylight hours roosting in the hollows of trees or rock crevices. Once the sun has set, it will arise from its daily slumber to feed on insects, where it will catch them both in the air or on the ground. This common and widespread bird can at times be difficult to find due to its preferred habitat of woodland areas and scrublands. Australian owl at night jars are often found resting on the roads after an exhausting feeding session where they are unfortunately susceptible to becoming roadkill. Outside of breeding, it's a solitary bird. Breeding takes place August to December and the nesting is usually done in hollows of trees or at times rock crevices, with around two to five eggs laid. And this brings me to the fifth and final most common South Australian nocturnal bird, the spotted nightjar, scientific name Eurostopodus argus, with three species of nightjar in the family, the spotted nightjar is the most widespread and can be found in all mainland states of Australia. With their speckled bodies, which appear to be brushed with golden flakes in the light, which makes a perfect camouflage. In proportion to their bodies, their beaks are small, but they can open very widely. Unlike owl at night jars, the spotted night jar's eyes are very reflective to light, their eyes reflecting any torch or car headlight back as a pink or light red glow. These birds will be difficult to find, given their ground dwelling nature, preferring the ground for both roosting and nesting. Also like the owl at night jar, it is very common to find the spotted night jar resting on the sides of a dirt road, very still and statue-like only blinking occasionally and tilting its head to any opportunistic meal that happens to fly by. The spotted nightjar is an aerial feeding specialist, catching its prey in the air. Its very distinctive V-shaped wing pattern makes the spotted nightjar easily recognisable when in the air, feeding on moths, beetles and other insects. Breeding takes place between September through to January, with usually only the one egg laid. Nests are made in leaf litter on the ground. Being a bird that spends all of its time on the ground, it is susceptible to be taken by foxes and feral cats. So next time you're on a country road at night, keep a look out in the trees, on fence posts or on the ground, as you might just see one of your own nocturnal bird species. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more nature-based videos. Thanks for watching.